Oh, yeah! Hey everyone, what's up? It's your guy, your boy, you know who I am at this point. If you don't, then why are you still here? Do you like my content that much? I uh, do have to turn my mic up just a hair. Hopefully not too loud. Uh, we're just playing. I know it's been a while. It's been over a week, probably. since At least since I've recorded. I don't remember when the last time was that I actually put something out. But... It's been a while. I just wanted to play this game again. Mainly, I haven't been doing it because school's been really busy lately. And ever since I've just been out, I've just been wanting to do nothing but sleep. So, after my schedule would be go to school, and then at 3.30, just kind of get in bed, and then sleep the rest of the day off almost. Leaving me really no time for everything. I would have time for things, but I'm lazy. So, I mean, I already just got a star without even really acknowledging it. Uh, so, yeah, uh, the only reason I'm really recording today is because I got a day off school. For one of the stupidest reasons, but we'll get into that. How have you guys been? It's been quite a, quite a long, long week for me. And I'm just, I'm ready for the weekend at this point. They keep the school, you know, and you know, I know I don't normally like to talk about my life too terribly much in these videos because then it seems like it's like, oh, I'm just grasping for things to talk about, you know what I mean? Well, but um, this feels appropriate since I'm not really sure what else to talk about. Hold up a sec, I gotta try and do this. Damn it. Uh, they keep. The main thing about this, about my school, is that for, okay, here we go, is that for some reason they keep wanting to give us, like, presentations to do almost every single day. Maybe not every single day, but, like, health class in particular is just terrible, because literally every other day we've been in that class, we've had to do some kind of dumb pres- okay, really? Honestly? Oh, now he stops. Oh, you mother fucker. Yeah, I'm trying to do the 100 coin star. I'm gonna miss that coin. It's, that's gonna make me very upset. Wait, it might fall. Come on, come on, come on. Damn it. But yeah, I'm probably not ta I'm, pro I'm not- I'm probably not gonna be as good with commentary today because I've gotten out of my groove. And when I get out of my groove, it normally takes me a while to get back into it. So I apologize if the commentary this time is particularly a bit lackluster. But this is really my first time doing these things. I think I'll get better at it as I go along. At least I hope I'll get better at it as I go along. I guess we'll see. Speaking of when we go along, I'm probably going to die when I try to do this. Uh, speaking of... That was a wall. Okay. Never do that again. <laughs> Uh, we're halfway through the game, so speaking of as we go along, since we're halfway through the game, I've wanted to kind of put the thought out there as to what my next one of these is going to be, because I kind of like doing these. Uh, it, it's kind of chill. I get to just chill out and play games, which was which used to be one of my favorite pastimes when I was younger. Whenever I get home from school, I just do nothing but play games the whole time. Like, for my entire life, before I discovered the internet, and then that took out all of my time. Hold up. Oh, hell yeah. If I knew how to do the actual trick, I'd have something to show off, but I don't. Uh, so I just kind of know how to do- I get it- I get the clip every once in a while. But, it's- it's kind of rare. Like, that time, I don't even know what I did wrong. I pushed the right direction and everything, and the game, I guess, just kind of said no? I don't know. But anyway, I kind of want to put some thoughts into what my next playthrough is going to be when I continue this. Or what? Or when I finish uh, the game. Super Mario 64. <gasps> Guys, I'm, I'm tired, too. Despite the fact that it's, uh... What time is it? 2.30 in the afternoon? I'm tired. Like, I'm tired 24-7. Despite the fact that I got a really good sleep last night, I'm not even, I don't even, I want to brag about how good a, shit, fuck, 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 fuck. 
Okay, that's fine. Like, honestly, I got like an extra five hours sleep because I didn't have school today because bullshit they pulled. Completely the- it wasn't even the snow, it was the bullshit they pulled was the reason why I didn't go. I'm gonna get into that in a second. But, anyway, next- next playthrough. I was thinking, not another Mario, I think I'm gonna put Mario on the shelf for the moment after this. I'm thinking... Some kind of Dragon Ball Z game. I don't know which one. It would more than likely be Tenkaichi 3. I'm dead. No, I'm not. It would more than likely be Tenkai H E 3 because that's my favorite one. And I could do some real fancy cool shit in that game too. Like, let me give you guys an example. In that game, for those of you that haven't played it, if you know- but know what Dragon Ball Z is, you can do some crazy crazy shit in the story mode of that game. If you can beat the enemies with like a certain character that it gives you, it just kinda rolls with it. And just progresses the story anyway. So you can make crazy shit like, what if Tien or Chaozu beat Nappa? What if uh, Frieza fought Vegeta? You know when uh, Frieza fights v Vegeta in like his final form and whoops his fucking ass? Uh, you can make it so that what if like Frieza in his third form fights Vegeta at that state? And Vegeta does a fuck ton of damage, and it hurts, and is pain, but if you do it, you get another special cutscene for it. It's nothing major, but, you know, it's the little things. And the, I, I ate that shit up when I was younger. That, the kind of what-if shit always interests me when it comes to video games. And that game is no different. You can, I swear, there's a lot of shit you can do. And what, and if I eventually go on to do that playthrough... I would be doing nothing but trying to fuck up the timeline in every single conceivable way I can. There's some that I really can't, or that is probably possible but I've never been able to. One of the instances is one of the very last fights in the game, which is Goku vs. Kid Buu, when, you know, he's at his base form, low power, he's lost all his energy. At that point, he's supposed to be charging the spirit bomb, but because of the way Budokai Tenkaichi 3 works, you actually have to fight Kid Buu, like, head-on, one-on-one. So what ends up happening is that gives you a chance to beat Kid Buu if you're skilled enough. The problem is, Kid Buu has, like, seven or eight health bars. I think it might only be six, but it feels like seven or eight. The problem is that whenever you switch characters out, say Goku's getting low on HP, and Kid Buu is low on HP, and you want to switch to a different character just to like, uh, you know, even the playing field, maybe beat him as a different character. If you switch out your character, all of Kid Buu's health is restored. Like, all six bars. So if you want to beat him with a certain character and affect the storyline, and get possibly like 10 extra seconds of dialogue because they never intended you to do it, you have to endure like a 10 minute fucking, not even 10, more like 20 minutes of just fucking sitting there and just trying to whittle his six bars of health down. I did not intend to do that. Whittle his six fucking bars of health down while you're sitting here, Mr. Three Bar Base Goku, doing like every health bar takes like 10,000 damage to deplete. You're sitting there as base go to twiddling your thumbs as you're just doing like doing f maybe 300 500 damage per basic combo it's not fun i've always wanted to do it and i never could and i kind of wanted to try that if i were to do that playthrough there's, of course, other games I have in mind, uh, maybe Crash Bandicoot or one of the Spyros. I don't want to really do a blind playthrough, though, because then I don't know what I'm doing, and I feel like that would just bore you guys out of your mind if I'm doing something wrong, you know what I mean? Something like Budokai Tenkaichi 3 and Sonic Adventure 1, I know my way around like the back of my hand, and thus I can do crazy glitch shit with it, and it would be really interesting. That's kind of how I like to stand out from all the other Let's Play guys on YouTube. I don't like to just play games normally, I like to find some way to break them. Stretch them to their breaking point until they're so close to snapping but don't quite. You know what I mean? 
And Sonic Adventure is like my best game to do that with. Because I could just do so much with it, it's not even fucking funny. And the game will cry, and you will cry laughing at how broken that shit is. Sonic Adventure would be another one I'd, I'd like to try. But really, Tenkaichi 3 is what I'm most interested in. If you guys have anything in particular you want to see, I guess you could just run it by me in the comments and I'd see what I can do. Of course, it has to be a game that I've already played. Hold on, this is kind of important that I don't fuck it up. Because then I'm taking the train right over to, 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 to dick in my assville if I were to try to be simple flips if I fuck this up. Alright, here we go. So it really depends because I'd have to have played the game because I'd normally reserve blind playthroughs for like live streams and everything. But other than that, there's really no limit as long as I've played it and I enjoyed myself with it. So not something like, I'm probably not going to play, despite the fact that I'm doing Mario, let me tell you guys right now, I don't know if I've said this in this playthrough yet or not, but I fucking hate Super Mario Sunshine. Like, the shines and the shit you have to do in that game is so boring and so downright tedious to me. Those 240 blue coins can suck my fucking asshole. Honestly, I've never been able to do it. I never will be able to do it. Who in their right mind thought it was a good idea to make you have to collect 240 fucking blue coins? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm still sick. 240 fucking blue coins. In order to be able to 100% that game. They need to be... I hope that guy was fucking fired. Because that shit... You can't. Like, you can't make up how fucking stupid that shit is. What? 240. On top of 120 of the most irritating, infuriating fucking shine sprites you'll ever have the misfortune of trying to collect. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> like, fucking god, dude. I'm sorry, but Super Mario Sunshine is no bueno. Big no bueno. Now I can I can galaxy and I can do the Odyssey any day, but 240 fucking At least in Odyssey when you're going for like 800, 999 moons. There's with the exception of all the shop moons and shit when you're going for all 999, at least that shit's fun. At least you're not just wanting to die when you're getting those moons. Sunshine is just like Fucking God, I can't even imagine how people can enjoy doing that. You got the poisonous river. You got the pachinko machine shit. You've got, hey, uh, here's like 20 or 30 red coin missions. Uh, they're all f not fun. Have fun. They're all bullshit in their own little way. I... <sighs> You got Mario's bullshit-ass control that was not built to be without Flood. It really wasn't. Don't try to argue with me on that. He slips and slides all over the place when you're in those, uh... No, no Flood levels. You know what I mean? The ones where you're in the fucking dreamscape. And the physics engine decides to conspire against you and it's fucking ridiculous. And everyone hates it. Don't tell me you don't. Because everyone hates it. Yeah, I'm just kind of doing the game without even really acknowledging it. Really, Shifting Sandland is like one of my least favorite worlds because it's just... It's just not that interesting to me and a lot of the shines aren't fun. The 100 coin star is so tedious because you have to go around the whole stage making sure you don't sink in the damn sand while getting all the blue coins from those spinies and then you have to take a trip into the pyramid. And overall, it's just not very fun. Once again, I'm saving the first star until last, because I just like to do things like that. And I'm waiting to get the red coins again, because I just did it, and it would be a bit tedious if I were to just do it again. So yeah, that's my plan of attack. 
Once we get out of this world, the game will get a lot more interesting, because I really like Dire Dire Docks. Maybe not the best level in the game. Did I just do it firsty? Brilliant. Maybe not the best level in the game, but certainly not the worst by any means. The worst has to be, in my opinion, Tiny Huge Island. Fuck that level. We'll get into that when we get over to Tiny Huge. That won't be for another couple parts, though, probably. But yeah, that's... That's pretty much my rant ramble. New playthrough, maybe gonna be a Dragon Ball Z game. Maybe won't be. Well, who knows. I always wanted to do something like that, because that shit is really fun. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is fucking fun, guys. It's like the purest form of fun you can ever experience in a video game, in my opinion. It's not my favorite by any means, but it's up there. And then fuck Mario Sunshine. That's basically what this video is amounted to. Not really talk about the game, because really, what is there to talk about? I'm in a pyramid. I'm going to go get one of the stars that's close to the top. Fuck this stupid-ass camera. <laughs> I shouldn't really be the... Well, did I just kick to escape my fate? Wowie. I'm good at games. Uh, although I shouldn't really be one to be complaining about the camera, because... Uh, ROM hack thing that I tried to do actually actively made the camera worse. I don't remember where it is. Where the shit is. Alright, it's a little past the waterfall. Okay, then the third one is... A little bit past the waterfall. This sand fall again. Perfect. It's always difficult to, like, gauge where all the shit is in this- in this star in particular. I'm not even gonna try to follow the sand because then I might eat shit, you know what I mean? And if I eat shit on this star, it's- it's- it's painful. Because you have to get all the way back. I don't know if you have to go back through the pyramid again. But I feel like you would. Okay, good. Fuck, like, almost every single star in here. <laughs> Except for shining atop the pyramid, hold on. My voice probably just got a little bit louder. Ex louder. Except for shining, um, shining atop the pyramid, that one's fine. Alright, I'm gonna go get the red coin, and then we're gonna go get the ta the bird, and then we're gonna go fuck off right out of this level. Ooh. Excuse me, because fuck this level. Fuck this level and everything that it stands for. It's stupid and I hate it. Once again, not sure about what to talk about, I apologize. Commentary can only get better as I do this kind of series more. But right now we're kind of going through a rough spot, especially since it's been like a week since I've done this, so I've gotten out of my commentary groove, you know what I mean? You gotta get in a groove for, like, what exactly to talk about and everything. If I had done that over another one of the pillars, that would have been Sayonara, Red Plumber. Come on, I know you got it. Loop back around. Hell yeah. I'm gonna land back here so I can get a refill. I don't know how close it is to running out, but I'm not about to find out. <sighs> Fuck it! Keep <laughs> going! Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> I hate this level. I hate this level. How dare I want to hold forward. God. In all honesty, I probably should have, uh... Probably should have opened the cannon, in all honesty. I just realized I'm missing two of the most pivotal, important red coins this world has ever seen. I should probably go try and get those. I would have been mad if I had missed them, and then I would have had to go back and go all the way back here. I don't know why I'm taking the express fly travel route, but whatever. Do it in style, I guess. Ugh. 
Yeah, that's that's the cannon over there. Right there. It would be easier to do the cannon probably because then I can just shoot around and get most of these. But you know what, whatever. It's alright. I'm fine. Life's fine, guys. Life's fine. Life's okay. Hopefully. For the moment, life's okay. Wow, I'm amazed I was able to fly even partially in that. I miss- I think I missed these on my travels. Not like I needed them, but... <laughs> Not today, sonny boy! Not today. Not today. I think there's something, like, kind of wrong with my Nintendo 64 joystick. God bless its soul, because it's probably been around since 1996, and just now there's problems. There's problems j coming up with it. So God bless its soul for living this long. I think my up-left direction is kind of a bit screwy. Like, Mario doesn't ever do the full walk when I walk in that direction. He just kind of strolls peacefully in that direction, you know what I mean? Oh, wow, fuck that guy. <laughs> so God bless this Nintendo 64 controller. It has lived a long, successful life in its endeavors to make children's lives magical, you know what I mean? Ooh, okay, now I can just kind of travel across this thing. Lag the game a bit. Alright, I have to move quickly. I don't know when I'm about to run out of juice here. Alright, we're fine. Just in time, too. Perfect. That was- that couldn't have been more perfectly timed. If I tried. Alright, so now we're just gonna go get that dumb bird star now. Let's try and do this the speed runway. I'm not good at speedrunning this level at all, though, so just warning you now. See, he decided to fire, so now we gotta do this the hard way. Where, where's he at? Now I gotta do this the long way. Where'd he go? Where'd that fucker go? All right, Cubs, he's coming back around. Motherfucker. Get over here. There you go. Big oof. Go get him, Mario. All right, we're done with this dumbass level. We're gonna go to Dire Dire Docks and kick Bowser and his pussy. What? <laughs> Why do I- why do I say the things I say? You know what? It's okay, guys. I tell ya, it's okay. It's okay. We're done with the basement, I think. We're done with the basement, right? Yeah, we're done. I think I did get- yeah, I- I- I hope I got the- yeah, I- I- I needed to have gotten the metal cap already. If not, then I guess we'll just feel it out. We'll just feel it out. So, I thought that we'd, uh, we'd have to, like, backwards long jump up the stairs, upstairs, in order to get to TikTok Clock and Rainbow Ride. I guess we don't have to do that now? I'm probably still going to, just for, like, the principle of the thing. Also, this is probably the worst 100 coin mission in the entire game. Because there's so many places you can die, and there's so few coins that you have to make sure you visit everywhere. There's probably- I think there's only like, a hundred and four coins. So even if you- Well, I'm dead. Fuck! So even if you were to like- Actually, I think that might be Jolly Roger Bay, I'm not sure. I, one of the water levels only has like, a hundred and four coins. So if you miss one pocket of coins, you're done, son. You gotta travel through the whole level again. And that's no way to really play a game, you know what I mean? And some of the coins you have to get are really dangerous. Ah, uh, 
you know, no, I have, I have to wait to get the 100 coin star. I was gonna say, maybe I should just get it out of the way now while the part I'm thinking of is still closed off. But then I can't get the red coins. Actually, I might have been, might be able to if I only have to get, like, two of, if I only have to miss, like, two of them. But then at the same time, I'm not about to waste my time if something goes wrong. So, I mean... I forget which one is next. I think it's this one. There is no... Th no, there's a this one. I doubt it, though. I think it might be the one up there. Okay, no, no, I'm fine. Except now I gotta be really, really careful. Because this one's in dangerous territory. I love how you have to face the treasure chest in order for it to open. Like, ain't that brilliant? Because then I'm facing right to the jaws of the beast! Okay, I gotta move. Fuck this star. <laughs> that star in particular can go fuck itself, just in general. Also, we're about to hit 70 stars. 70 stars is the minimum to be able to beat the game. So we're not even get, we're not even up to second Bowser yet, and we're about to be able to just beat the game if we really wanted to. Of course, we're not going to do that. We want to get every single star here. Is the Manta right here yet? No, I don't think he is. So we're just going to go get the other star. Actually, wait, no, we're not. We're not going to do that yet. We got a couple other stars we can get first. I think. I don't quite remember. But I think that we can. And I think I might cut it off after we beat second Bowser. This one's going to be a bit of a shorter episode than usual. But I kind of want to get something out. You know what I mean? So which one are we going to do first? I think we're just going to do the harder one first. Which is right down here. See, this is going to be difficult now. Because now I got to push against the current. While not having full control of my directions, like I said before. Because my control stick's being a little iffy. Right, this might be fine. I don't think I even have to go down there. I just kind of have to stick around here. Now I just have to start swimming down. This is going to be the hard part. I could just use the metal cap, but nah. I like to be a little extra. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Let's go, baby! That's how you do it. That's how you play video games, ladies and gentlemen. After this next star, though, we do have to get the board Bowser substar. But at that point, we all have 70 stars. So, I mean. And then once again, I'm going to combine the red coin and 100 coin. You know, I might cut it off after we get all the stars in Dire Dire Docks. That might push us to 40 minutes. Might push us further because the 100 coin mission sucks. Seriously, I hate it. Alright, so we're gonna get the... I don't think... No, it's right there. Okay, I was about to say, I don't think it's here yet. That would've been really strange if it wasn't there yet, but I thought it wasn't there yet. Oh, Kate don't spawn until submarine is gone. That... That would be the dumbest shit in existence. So what you're supposed to do here is you're supposed to get the invisible and the metal cap. You do not have to get the metal cap. Like, don't even bother getting the metal cap, it's slower. You can just swim directly to it. It's like, probably 15 seconds slower to get the metal cap as well. 
Hey guys, we have 69 stars, am I funny? Guys, look, it's a sex number, 69, am I funny yet? <laughs> Am I good internet personality yet? I said 69. Not clickbait. Gone sexual. Make sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. Share with your grandmother that I indeed did say 69. Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck the YouTube landscape. Those poor, poor YouTubers that have to take sponsorship deals with Dollar Shave Club and Audible.com and Crunchyroll.com in order to keep a roof over their fucking heads. It's not their fault that they have to take sponsorships, but I hate sponsorships just in general. I don't like being shoved in my face. Hey, if you like this YouTube channel, you should go check out this this anime platform that uh, that sucks dick compared to actually pirating your anime you know what I mean I've honestly heard that pirating anime is actually a better idea than getting something like Crunchyroll say so, yeah, here we go the mystery of the endless staircase is solved apparently all right I'm gonna go fuck Bowser not like that but <laughs> I need to just finish my sentences before I stop talking. Because if not, then it makes things kind of weird. Now I gotta play my cards exceedingly carefully here. I keep, I, I keep forgetting I have to get the red coins too. So I can't play as reckless as I usually do. I have to be able to actually get the red coins. Oh, come on. And by not play as recklessly, I mean play like 15 quadrillion times more rec- I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. If I actually get a game over trying to do this shit, I swear. <laughs> I shouldn't, but you know, it can happen. I keep hitting that button at the wrong time. At least I have this heart here. This heart kind of helps. It also helps in going fast because you can just collect the heart and then just lava boost up like I was trying to do. Too bad I kind of... Mm, too bad I kind of f fucked it up before. Also some pretty cool shit to be seen over here. Because first of all, there's a red coin up there. Second of all, if you flip down through here, you have to actually fall to get that red coin. So yeah, speedrun tips with Super Sonic. Ain't it great? Ain't it grand? Do you know how to speedrun Super Mario 64 yet? Because I sure don't. Give me tips. Oh boy. <laughs> Cheese, Cheese 5 if you're watching this, two to your boy. You might get an hourly rate. Maybe. If I actually get good money. <laughs> One day, getting a job and actually making some kind of wage that is consistent. For right now, I'm being funded by you beautiful lot over at Patreon, you know what I mean? Y'all are great people. I apologize, I can't really do more for you yet because... Still developing it. Still seeing what I can do that would be within like... Because y'all gotta keep in mind, I'm a high school boy. I got... I don't got much free time as I'd like to. When I become a full-fledged adult, maybe. Maybe I'll have some more free time, but I doubt it. We'll have to see. I'm fucked. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. I'm, go I'm going the normal way. Fuck it. Fuck that. I'm going the normal way. I'm, I'm not dead. I think that's rising up. Gamers rise up. This thing is a gamer. Guys, am I hip? Am I relevant yet? My ga our gamers are rising up. Am I hip yet? I need to just shut the fuck up. Me trying to be hip is actually probably actively making me lose viewers more than anything. <laughs> Try to follow the hip trends and your audience will abandon you. Oh no. 
Oh, that that was a very bad angle. That almost ended terribly. Whoa, Nelly. All right. Bowser boy, it's time for me to clip your toenails because they're quite getting quite huge, bud. Yep, yep. Y'all ready? I'm getting the toenail clippers. And clipped. As, yeah, it hurts, but it hurts me more than it hurts you. I gotta smell your stinky ass feet. I'll, I'm available all night, boys. <laughs> get Actually get paid an hourly wait to clip people's toenails. You, you'd make a hell of a living. <laughs> well, shit, I hit the wrong thing. Um, time to... Ha 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 ha. Whoops, I just wasted one of my lives. Because I'm stupid. Don't mind me. I'm just stupid guy. Now I gotta go get those hundred coins. This mission sucks, guys. Like, this is probably the worst hundred coin mission in the entire game. First of all, there's coins here. If you miss those coins, you're pretty much fucked. You gotta go back. Ain't that fun, guys? Ain't life grand? Ain't life just the, the bee's fucking knees? I think there's a couple coins I am gonna miss on purpose because they suck. And uh, the thing is, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i show you when we get there. It, getting those coins is probably one of the most soul-sucking... If you miss those coins, it is one of the most soul-sucking... Makes you want to throw the controller experience as you'll probably ever experience in a video game. Yes, pull me. It's not these ones. These ones are fine. It's fine. Dying isn't as bad as what I'm thinking of. There's actually a part in this level that's worse than dying, and I hate it, and it makes this mission absolutely unfucking bearable. Because dying would be bad enough, but, do but if you hit this thing that I'm about ready to refer you to... You, it, it's way worse because it's not just you dying, it's you dying in a stupid and you actually have to do something to get back out of it way. And it's dumb and it wastes your time and I don't know why they put it there. Because this level, this mission would be a hundred times better if it wasn't there. Pun not intended, but definitely there. I'll show you by jump going to try and get- I'm gonna get like two of those coins out of the five that are there. I shouldn't need them all. <coughs> I'm gonna go for them first just in case the worst happens. So what I'm referring to is this over here. That hole that was closed while Bowser's submarine was there. There are coins under there. Here's the gimmick with that hole. It sucks you in. If it pulls you all the way in, it takes you outside of the castle. See, look, it's it's sucking me in. And I didn't get any of the coins. And the thing is, if you get too close, it's more powerful than your swim if you get too close. So if you get too close to it, you're pretty much fucked. And it takes you all the way outside of the castle, inside that little pond thing that's like near the front. So not only do you lose all the hundred coins you got, but you then have to travel all the way back to Dire Dire Docks just to get another shot. It sucks. Which is why I'm only gonna get two coins and then I'm getting the hell out of there. I'm not getting the hell out of there. Yeah, I am. It's more powerful than your, your swim if you get too close. And I hate it. Because I, I literally just thought for a second there I was about to get sucked in. Luckily, you should only need about two of those coins. Hopefully. I'm gonna double check because up here there's some blue coins. That'll determine it. There's 30 of them. So I might actually... No, I think there's some coins up here. There might be some extra coins. I'll go check. If not, then I am probably gonna have to go back and get some more of them. But then I don't care. Nope, there's coins up here. Good. So I should now have enough. Because there's 16, there's 16 coins, plus the 30 you get from the blue coins, 46 coins, yeah, I have enough. 
Sorry, I was just trying to be- I thought I could do some cool shit. I probably could do some cool shit if I triple jumped. Maybe, but I'm not gonna try it. I'm just gonna go up there the normal way. Normally we here shun the normal way, but here it's kind of... You wanna go the normal way. Fuck everything. <laughs> The star's gonna take a while, because I don't like doing this the not normal way. I know, blasphemous. Me not- me wanting to do things the normal way. Blasphemous. But sometimes, guys, it just really do be like that. You gotta just travel. You gotta- Fuck! <laughs> Come on, dude! It's not that hard! Just long jump! It's a simple two-button input! If I, if I try to just normal jump over there, that ain't gonna be it, Chief. There you go. Yeah, fuck that. I'm waiting. I'm waiting on that one. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's just, it's so simple. Yeah, this is definitely taking- this is probably gonna take us to 50 minutes with how long it is. But then once we're done here, we're done with the basement, we get to move upstairs. Not as many, like, glitches and cool shit in this episode as there were in previous ones. But, eh. Sometimes you just gotta deal with it, you know what I mean? Sometimes it, again, really do be like that. I really need to shut up before this meme dates the video. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm missing one over there, too. Really? This mission isn't that bad? It's just boring. If I were a speedrunner, I'd be like, hop, triple jumping, wall kicking all over the place to get these coins without the pulls. But as it stands now, with my current skills as a novice video gamer... Nah, fam. We can't be like that. It can't be like that. <laughs> so we just sit here, and we wait, and we be bored. Alright, now we go back and wait some more. Fuck. Alright, now we're going back up the fancy way. We almost did it, too. This is gonna happen, guys. That was the exact wrong direction. Fuck this dumbass. Use the wooden block to get back up there, shit. We're going back up the fancy way. Perfect. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that proves it's possible. That proves it's possible. That was the exact wrong direction. Alright, hold on. Where is it? It's over here. I gotta go up, like, right next to this red thing. Now I just- What the fuck?! <laughs> Hello?! This line? Yeah, this line. Wait, what- Which one was it?! Oh, it was this one. No, it wasn't. Guys, I'm so confused! What- what?! <laughs> I'm so confused. How did I do it? <laughs> I'm so confused. I would have remembered if I had to wall jump up this red looking thing. I'm so confused, guys. What the hell? How did I do it? <laughs> Ah! 
I'm so, I'm so confused. <laughs> Fuck this. We're just doing it the normal way. What the hell did I do? <laughs> it's been like two minutes since I did it. Wow. <laughs> I've hit a new low in terms of my mental capacity. I'm like a fucking goldfish. Wow. <laughs> Pathetic. That's fucking. That's actually the most pathetic shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're not gonna get that yet. I'm gonna get the red coin first. And I'm gonna stick around for a while. It's gonna plop me back down into the water. Watch this. Check this fucking shit out. Right down to the bottom. It's a good thing it's not near. Wait, hit it. Okay, well, that, it didn't matter. <laughs> About to say it might better not have plopped me down near the uh, cave square, the square, the black square of doom and despair. You know what I mean? That big thing. Oh, for fuck's sake, Mario, grab the ledge. Thank you. Or do that. That works, too. Now I just have to get back up there one more time. One more time. Thank you. God, I hate that mi I hate that mission. We still have one more star to do, too, I believe. I think it's the mana, the mana ray one. <gasps> Excuse me. And then we're done. This is the longest episode in existence. Not really in existence, but sure feels like it. Come on, get it, get it, get it. What the fuck? Hello? I hate the- Guys! What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? What am I doing wrong? Hello, game. Yes, it's me. It's a me, a Mario. I'm going through the rings. I hate this mission, guys. What? What am I doing wrong? Guys, what am I doing wrong? I just want the episode to be done! Hello? Alright, hold on. Let's get air. Let's, let's let's get some air. Yeah, that's some air. Do all of the rings need to be spawned first? No, because that worked. What I was just doing there. Uh, alright. Alright. Fine. I agree. Except this is right up. Ah! Really? Thank you. Fuck. <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm so dumbfounded by what just occurred. I'm gonna go back up the fucking stairs. <laughs> That's not the fucking stairs, Mario. That's gonna be all for this part. We're five parts in, we're already almost there. Wow, that was cool. We're gonna try the backwards long jump up the stairs next time. That'll be next time, though. For right now, this is the Super Sonic 1014. We're almost there, we've just got one more part of the castle to go. And I'll be able to move on to greener pastures, so... I'll see you guys later. This was Super Sonic 1014. See ya when I see ya. Bye.